Stan Gibalisco here. On August 24th, 1992, at about 4.45 in the morning, I was in Homestead, Florida, right at the bullseye of this hurricane, Andrew, one of the most intense hurricanes ever to strike the United States mainland. In fact, I think only the hurricane of 1935, which went through the Florida Keys, the Labor Day storm, and also Hurricane Camille, which struck Gulfport, Mississippi in 1969. I think only those two hurricanes that have struck the United States mainland have been more intense than this one in terms of wind speeds. I was in Homestead, Florida when this storm struck, and as this radar image was taken, the last radar image to be taken at the National Hurricane Center before the dome blew off their roof, that was back in Coral Gables, Florida, when they were located in Coral Gables, Florida. Right around, I guess it would be the uh, Bird Road and US-1, right around the University of Miami. That pinkish part right there that you see just above that, uh, and to the left a little bit, NHC, National Hurricane Center. Homestead, you can see its center left is just about to get hit by the eye wall of that storm. And I remember when that storm came up, it sounded like a windstorm, you know, like any windstorm, until we got to that eye wall, that red donut there. When that eye wall arrived, the house began to shake, even though it was made out of reinforced concrete like a bomb bunker. It shook under the impact of those gusts. It sounded like a freight train going over the roof. 45 minutes of wind from the north, about an hour of calm, 45 minutes of wind from the south, which was much less. And then it was dawn, and we got a chance to look at a landscape drastically altered by winds estimated to be sustained at about 140 to 150 miles an hour. In any case, there's one characteristic of this hurricane that strikes my memory the most and that puzzles me, and that is the green lightning that occurred. And I do mean green. I mean as green as the bright green in this radar image, as green as a traffic light. In fact, that would be an excellent analogy to use. Traffic light green lightning. I've heard explanations to the effect that that would be transformers shorting out, electrical transformers. There's just one problem with that theory. There was no live wire within at least 10 miles of where I was at the time that lightning occurred. So there couldn't have been any transformer that was sparking and arcing had to be too far away to show up at all. I saw this lightning coming in through a little tiny window up near the ceiling, which remained uncovered and somehow remained intact during this storm, green as a traffic light. Now, I have theories about that, but I've never really heard anyone bring it up and explain to me satisfactorily why that lightning was green. My theory is that ocean spray was kicked up by that hurricane and became airborne. Ocean water, as you know, contains various minerals, including sodium chloride, common table salt. Should an electrical spark go through air laden with droplets that have sodium chloride in them, one might suppose that that electrical charge would split the atoms and cause the sodium and the chlorine atoms to briefly fluoresce. Sodium has a yellowish candle flame type of color when it fluoresces, and chlorine, wouldn't you know it, is green when it fluoresces. And that is my theory. The other theory that might work is that there was so much vegetation flying around in the air, green vegetation, leaves and things like that, that the lightning was simply filtered through all of that and looked green. Sort of the same reason why a sky may be green sometimes after a tornado has passed through. 
but though and Hurricane Andrew was in fact about the intensity of an EF3 or EF4 tornado but it lasted of course much longer so that's my question to you why was that lightning green this is a NOAA National Hurricane Center official image just Google on Hurricane Andrew you'll get all those kind of images to your hearts horror and your brains gee I don't know depends on what kind of person you are I'm still fascinated by that hurricane I always wanted to go through a hurricane like that but I'll tell you I would never want to do it again <laughs> Stan Gibalisco signing off from the nerd cave let me know what you think besides that I'm an idiot I already know that so long <laughs>